A woman in Colorado was fired from her job at a Circle K convenience store where she worked for 18 years, apparently because she had the gall to briefly try to stop an armed robber. Yes, she was fired for, at worst, trying to help her employer. Surveillance video of the October 2020 incident shows Tyler Wimmer, who's armed with a knife, walk into the store and ask Marianne Moreno for a pack of cigarettes for free. She says no. Wimmer appears to walk away as if he's going to leave the store, but then turns around, walks behind Marianne, and grabs a pack. She told a local TV station exactly what happened. When he came around that fast, he was, like, right there, and, and I f freaked out, you know, and I just went like that. Well, supposedly, I guess I grabbed his arm. I'm, I don't remember that, but I pushed him, and that's when he ran out. Now, she says she was fired a few days after the incident, the company telling her she violated Circle K's don't chase or confront policy when it comes to shoplifters and robbers. Watching the video, it sure doesn't seem like she chased or confronted the suspect. She just appeared to instinctively sort of touch his arm. I really did not think I would get fired for something like that. If I'd have chased him out the door or, you know, argued with him. I'm with her. Now, this follows a similarly ridiculous case we covered a couple of weeks ago. Two employees at a Lululemon store in Atlanta fired for yelling at a couple of robbers who were making off with a ton of merchandise. No, no, no. You can march back out. You can march back out. No, you can march. No. March back. No. No. Seriously. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. The CEO in that case defended the decision to fire those Lululemon employees. We train them to step back. It's about their safety. Uh, and we take that policy yeah. seriously because we've had instances and we've had and seen in other retailers instances where uh, employees step in and are hurt or worse killed. Fine. Maybe they shouldn't do it. Largely for their own safety. But you don't have to fire them. And in this case, Marianne Moreno probably did what anyone would have done if faced with an attacker, even a witness who stepped out of the store to call 911 after seeing the, uh, the guy with the knife walk in, was shocked to hear that Marianne was fired. What would you do? What would anybody do? That's just human nature. You're just protecting yourself. I think they need to... Um reevaluate their policy if you care about your employees. Well said. Marion Moreno is now suing, and her attorney says employers are not taking into account the real dangers their employees face in these retail jobs. Companies have not sufficiently thought through the nuance in these situations, and any normal person is going to respond by pushing an attacker away from them. Right. Most importantly, even if they did technically violate the rule, why would they fire someone who's just trying to do the right thing for the business? I want those kind of folks working with or for me. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.